Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and today we are doing self-care of a different form. We are going to highlight my hair. So I've done this actually three times, maybe two, I don't know, three times. So I'm not a newbie at this, but I'm definitely not like a pro. So I'm going to show you how I highlight my hair. But this is a disclaimer, just because I know how to highlight my hair doesn't mean that I know your hair. It doesn't mean that if you follow these steps, your hair is going to turn out. Um, if I was giving you any advice, I would say if you're not sure about it, go see a hairstylist because, yeah, it's risky. But, you know, not only can doing it at home save money, but I also think it's kind of fun. Like, I just literally think it's a creative fun thing for me to do and like I like doing it so that's why I don't go to the salon to do it but um yeah so let's just get started okay first I'm going to introduce you to what I have this thing I got on Amazon it's just like foil so I couldn't get it open I've never used foil before I've normally just kind of done it without foil so it'll be interesting to see how the foil works or does I got these little clips from Amazon to separate my hair chunks. I have this little thing that I've had for a while. And this is what I'm using. I've used this before. Um, it is by L'Oreal Paris. I got it because it just says Absolute Platinum Advanced Lightening System. Lightening's up to seven levels. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, you're going to want a rag just in case something goes wrong. This is a water for my cat, so just ignore that. And then some water for me and my more ceramics mug in case I get thirsty. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to do is obviously wear a shirt that you don't care about. I've had this for probably 12 years. So, I mean, it's got makeup scenes on it. The collar's all stretched out. So I just wear this at home, so I don't really care. And it's kind of cold in my house. Okay, next we are going to brush through the hair, which I already did, and then you're gonna separate them. How does this open? There we go. Separate the hair into three sections. So you separate it. How, first of all, you're gonna see how you part your hair, which me, I kind of gravitate towards this one side. And yes, my hair is greasy. It's best not to do it on freshly washed hair because that will kind of, the bleach could damage your scalp more. And I wasn't gonna wash my hair just to like wash it again after I highlight it. But this is definitely a good look at the before. So you can see here, this is where my last highlights kind of started was right here. So I have this whole thing to do and I'm gonna run it through because last time, I only did a little bit of highlights, kind of like a honey vibe. And so if I run through the highlighting again, if I like run the bleach through again, it's gonna bring it to an even brighter blonde, which I don't mind. Okay, so we gotta separate this side, this side, and the back. So I'm gonna do the back right here. And how you know it's the back and not the side is like if you can like visually see it but I think it's best to do as much side as you can because you can see more of that like it's really hard to see the back of your head and no one said this is easy like this is not an easy job so if you're intimidated I strongly advise that you don't do it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna twist the hair back of my hair I love these clips. This is my first time using them. And they're super cute, right? Like, I love the colors. I'll make sure and link everything down below. Okay. <sighs> this is kind of like intimidating. Okay, I just open this and you get a number one, a number two, and then a number three. And they also gave me gloves, but I totally thought they were gonna give me a brush and they didn't, so that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I think I might have to use my mommy's paintbrush. Mom? And then basically you just add this to this, shake it, and then add this to this and shake it. <sighs> okay, I just shook that really hard. I'm out of breath, that's so embarrassing. 
right? Okay, so it's all in here. And this is the brush I found. It's embarrassing, but let's just see how it goes. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna start on this side and then work my way down. I'm gonna flip it over. I've seen this on YouTube, but here is the secret. You want to start out with really thin sheets or slices, okay? And once you have these, you're going to backcomb it a couple times. And then you are going to go back and forth in a zigzag way to just pick up the babies. And that's still a little thick for me. So I'm gonna back home it a little more. And if you wanna take out any, you can take some out. But see how it's super thin, like you should be able to see through it, okay? Then, that is when you take this, put it right up next to the scalp there. And I am just going to squirt it on like that. And then take my paintbrush and paint it on. This is so much better than having gloves and using your hands. I've done it before where you have gloves. And it just does not work very well. And what I've learned from my research is that you want to use a lot of this stuff. It's kind of hard to get this longer hair. Wow, I feel just like the stylist. I'm glad I have my rag. So there you have it. Now I'm just going to flip it this and then flip it to the other side. And now we're going to do this again. Actually, this is some of this hair forgot. So we're gonna draw a line. And we're actually gonna put this over on this side. And now we're gonna do another slice. And I think because I want this to stay I am going to clip it. Nice. Okay. Sorry, sometimes I'm not like good at centering myself on the camera. Sorry, my mom's dog is barking. Okay. people do that with the longer hair if you know please comment below and tell me how okay and I read that it shouldn't exceed 30 minutes so let me start a timer no sorry 60 minutes it shouldn't exceed 60 minutes so I am gonna try and work fast here and you know what, I think, I think I'm gonna do my whole head here on this side and then show you guys. Otherwise it might take too long. Whew. So I've only done this much and I'm just gonna say this is a lot easier said than done. 
Actually though, I am kind of getting the hang of it. I'm gonna film one slice for you. I left these pieces out by the face because I'm gonna do some highlighting if I do like a ponytail. So I'm going to leave these by the face out. Okay, so we're gonna again start here. And yes, I know I have very thin hair. And now that I'm towards the end here, I am doing thicker chunks or slices because you're not really gonna see it so much. It's just gonna be like underneath the hair and it'll sort of come out sometimes. And to soften it, I am going to backcomb it just a little. It does work. Backcombing helps a lot. Okay, I got it nice and taut against the roots. I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see this middle finger gets in the way. I'm gonna put a lot on here. I'm not shy. Oopsie. Maybe that was too much. Pretty sure I'm dripping all over my arm. <laughs> oh well. I am definitely being more gutsy this time than I was the first and second time. I just feel a little more confident. Prepare for the worst. Hope for the best. Uh oh, this is sliding. See? Not bad, right? And then I just take my little clip and move her over. <sighs> okay, so I'm here now. I'm going to do some of these ponytail highlights we talked about. So I have all this here. It should be pretty thin. And what I'm going to do is do a little weave, weave in and out. I just really don't want stripes, you know, by my ponytail. Okay, yep, so then you've got this part here, and then you're gonna back home it. And put this against the face. They just look like two stripes, but they're, it's not. It's all back home, so they're kind of stuck together. Like, this is so fun. I'm having so much fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this. So we're gonna pin it. Actually, let's pin this too. Okay. Now we just have this stuff to do, which should be super quick and easy. I'm gonna do some thicker chunks. I'm really getting the hang of this. But now it's hard because I can't really see. Why is this piece so, like, small like it should be like maybe I took too much in the back so 
So backcombing is a really nice way to do that balayage look. Your roots don't really show as well. So if you're going for that look, it's a nice way to get that look. Okay, I really can't see this one. I think I'm gonna do it in my hand like this. So a little tip, if you can't see, just use your hand. I still like can't tell you enough how fun this is for me. Okay, I'm gonna leave this because at the end I'll do some more maybe. <laughs> nice. Let's take a look at that one. I'm scared. What if I should wash it out? How long has it been? Okay, it hasn't been that long. It should be fine. <laughs> But no, I'm like freaking out like I want to hurry up. <sighs> okay. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it and do this on my own because I'm kind of scared. Okay, I just finished this side of my head. I did do some pretty thicker chunks of non-highlights on this side. Now, I am kind of afraid. Okay, they say if you like do this and it feels stretchy, then it's too long, but I think I'm okay. Okay, now I quickly gotta do the back. Basically, it's the same thing, but I wanna do as little of the back as I have to because I'm getting kind of worried that I really need to rinse out this side. Do a nice thin layer. I feel like you guys need to be up a little higher. Okay. Okay, nice thin layer. Weave in and out. Okay. Nice. See how thin that is? It's super thin. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so hard because I can't see. Hmm. I need a mirror. I flipped it the other way, I'm gonna do it this way. I can't really see either, but I think if I do it like to the side, I can just see with one eye. As you can see, like the confidence has kind of come out from my voice. I'm not so confident anymore. I'm actually getting a little scared. <laughs> I can't even see. Okay, I'm just gonna put it here. I'm like freaking out. This is just getting worse and worse. <sighs> okay. I just wanna be done. I really don't want streaks. So to prevent streaking i'm gonna back home this thing super duper much and wearing a sweater was a bad idea i'm like sweating can't see a thing Okay, now I have no idea how the back of my hair looks, but I'm gonna be done. Or should I do one more? I think maybe I wanna do one more. I'm so nervous, oh my god. Kinda reminds me of like the Pop-Tarts, the frosting on the Pop-Tarts, I can't see. So one thing I know about my hair is that it lightens super fast. So I'm going to bring these back. I feel really scared. I feel like there's a little orange there, so I'm going to leave it in a little longer. I 
now it seems like one can only wait. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid I went too streaky this time. Because some of these I didn't really back home because I was like feeling brave. Dude, it's like white. <laughs> okay, so it's been like 45 minutes. Let me read the instruction. 45 minutes to 60 minutes. I'm going to rinse this brush off. That's a nice tip. If you don't have one of those brushes, use a th like, it's a fine tip like this. It worked great. Thanks, mom. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna pull the foils out. Okay, I think it's been long enough. I don't know, I see a little brassiness in there, but since it's highlights, it should be fine. So I'm gonna pull these ones out first. And I may wanna just rinse this side of my hair out so that this side can process a little more. This was fun. I'm gonna rinse this and leave this. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> I haven't finished rinsing because it was like really hard to rinse. You guys, I'm scared. Okay, this side is pretty light now. I think I just need to take everything out and wash it. I'm not sure about the back of my head. I just don't want lines, you know? This is like, well, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to be orangey. All right, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to blow dry my hair, style it, and then you'll see the after results. I'm so scared. Okay, so this is the after. I think I did a pretty good job. It's bright. It is a little brassy, but I will continue. I might need some toner, but I'll continue using purple shampoo and seeing how that reacts. I'll show you the back. I definitely see more color on this side versus this side. And that just makes sense because this side spent longer. But okay, so this is how I look without makeup. And whenever you do new hair without makeup, it never looks very good. So tomorrow I'm going to put a fresh face of makeup on and I'll show you in some natural sunlight or some natural lighting. And then that will be the final video and we can chit chat a little bit about this experience. Okay. So here's the next day. I did some makeup. Um, I went a little lighter, like peachier. I think peach looks good with blonde hair. And please excuse the mess behind me. I just don't want to clean and I didn't want to do any of that. So um, here I'm in front of a window. So it's some natural lighting. You can definitely see some parts where I started, but that's okay. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. So now let's do a tiny little chat. Okay, I just wanted to move you guys over here so I could sit on the bed and be comfortable. But yeah, so definitely if you've never done your own highlights before, it's not like an overall color. It's not like you can just put it all in your hair and just expect you to have highlights. Highlights are meant to pick individual ones. And so it's definitely like whenever you're dealing with bleach, it's a really kind of a scary thing. And there's a lot that could go wrong Well, then you're crooked. So I wouldn't recommend doing it. This is just me showing you guys how I highlight my hair. And I know for myself that my hair lightens pretty easily. It's thin and it's naturally blonde. So it highlights pretty well. So yeah, that's just like my little disclaimer. So please don't like try it if you're not 100%. And if it goes wrong, please don't blame me. Like <laughs> I'm basically here telling you not to do it, but this is just my version of how I do it. 
but yeah so that's that now let's talk about my house there's just a couple updates update number one was we went and met with a guy there and we put in where all of our light fixtures are going to be and electrical outlets so we did a lot of like electrical stuff so that's super exciting they just told us that they filed a permit to start digging and building they said they won't get to start building until may so as far as the house goes it's going to be a little bit slow for now but whenever there's any updates i'm for sure gonna tell you okay i just want to go back and process like what just happened with me and my hair i think it was so funny because i was really confident in the beginning because i've done this more than once and i've used the same box before the same like bleach whatever i felt pretty comfortable but i had never used foils before so as soon as i was going through like i actually heard that foils can make the hair process faster because it kind of gets warm in there i don't know and so when i took that foil out and i saw how white it was i no joke was freaking out and i also was being more daring this time like normally i'm super conservative like i do super tiny microweaves and i back home it a ton so the stuff i'm highlighting is very a very small amount and that time when i did it i was like Oh, I wish I would have done more. So this time I was a lot more daring and I had more hair in the bleach that was going in the highlights. So yeah, I was freaking out. I was afraid there was going to be a lot of streaks, like strings, but there's not. I think it blends overall pretty well, but I just thought it was hilarious. Like I went from confident, like how to, I'm going to show you how to do it. And then like super scared. <laughs> and sweating wrong day to wear a sweatshirt i was sweating so bad but yeah it was super fun and i mean back to my channel all about self-care self-care isn't always about applying a face mask or doing your nails sometimes self-care is about trying new things giving yourself a new perspective on life which sometimes means change your hair keep it fresh self-care can mean so many things it can mean working on yourself intellectually, learning new things. It can mean being hard on yourself, giving yourself goals to accomplish. I mean, self-care is so much more than just taking a bath, you know? So I hope this inspired you to maybe switch it up, do something new, do something creative, do something you like, do something maybe a little scary. Let me know what you thought of my hair or what you think of my hair in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe so that I can continue with you on my self-care journey and also my house journey. If you saw it like in my video last week, we got to pick out the colors and stuff. So go ahead and check that video out if you're interested in like what it's like to build a house in 2022. All right, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.